This video is going to be covering how to keep your project organized, clean, and ready to grow. We're going to cover things like how to import stuff into your project without ever messing with anything else in your project. We're going to cover things like importing new shaders that maybe you have to upgrade an old shader and it makes all of your materials in your project go pink. And there's a super fast way to set all of those materials back up. It can take like a minute. And then we're going to cover naming conventions, how to name your stuff properly so that you can grow and still find everything in your project with zero effort. All right, let's get started. The first thing you probably noticed is that my project has one folder. So we have the root assets folder, and then we have my project folder. So this is just named after what I'm going to be doing in this project. So for me, I'm just doing shader development and like generic avatar stuff. So I have a root folder called shader dev and it has my name at the start because I want the folder to be unique to me. So if I import an asset into this project and it has a billion folders in the root, I don't have to worry about it because they're all just going to go beside this and then I can group them all up into one folder and then once I'm happy with it, I can move them into my project folder. So always have a root like folder in your project. It's incredibly important and it means that say you want to export something for someone else later. If you have this root folder, that means no matter what I grab in here, I could grab these three things, I could export them and then it's all going to be under this folder no matter what. I will always have clean exports with zero effort. Sure, maybe the stuff in that folder will be a mess, but at least I'm not going to mess anyone else's project up. And nobody can mess my project up unless they have a folder with the exact same name. So name this uniquely, name it after yourself, name it something unique to you. It's like a password. All right, let's move on to inside the folder. The next step is organizing things inside your folder. So. I have a third party folder that has everything that I've downloaded, but I'm not going to modify. So the VRC SDK or maybe like standard assets or random shaders, things that I want and I want to share them between my pro across my project, but I didn't make them and I'm not going to change them. So they are third party. Anything that I want to share amongst my project that I did make or found or modified or anything like that, I put in the shared directory. So I have normals and I have detail textures and gradients and GIFs and stuff like that in here. And you can see that all of these are named after what they are. So T underscore signifies that it's a texture. You can use whatever you want, but I'm going to cover what I'm using. So T underscore is a texture and then the texture is of cloth. And then it's a normal map, so underscore n. Some people like to do underscore nrm for normal. It's totally up to you. The longer it is, the easier it's going to be to search for. So if I, say, wanted to find all the textures in my project, I could do t underscore, and it would pull those up. And then if I wanted to find well, some of the stuff in my project, obviously isn't named the same way. but we can expand on this. So if I go T underscore and then underscore N, it'll pull up all of my normal maps, which you can see right at the start. And then if I wanted to say, you can see other stuff here, that's because they start with an N. If I named it NRM, those noise textures wouldn't pop up. But if I wanted to search for noise, I can search underscore NOI and then I'll get all my noise textures. So it's really handy. Or say I wanted to find all of my skinned mesh and there they are. Or maybe I want just the blend files. There it is. Or maybe just the FBX. And there it is. So have, naming your stuff like this is a great way to keep your project clean. Let's go into the avatar folder and we'll cover how to keep that clean. Inside the avatar folder, you can see that there are no subdirectories down here. There is only the main folder for the avatar and everything in it. The way I used to tell people to do it was to have your main folder and then you have like a textures folder, a models, materials, whatever 
scenes, but it it doesn't really work. So if, if I was working on a model for, or a material, for example, and I selected this material, now I wanted to change the texture. I got to go into the textures folder and select a texture and like, oh, I accidentally erased or hid my material. So now I got to go back into the material, select that, make sure that I drag the texture in. Like now, like it's just a pain. It doesn't work very well and it sucks. So this is an example of how not to do it. This is an example of how you could do it. So say I wanted to change this material, I select the material and I can just drag it in. If I make a mistake, I can just reselect the material. It's right there. And the material, everything is named with underscores, as you can see here. All the animations are A underscore and whatever they are. Try to avoid stuff like this, where you have an underscore in the middle, because that's going to give you false results when you search for something. So I have all these animations, then I have animation controller and animation override controller. If you don't know what a file type is, you can just select it and it says it down here, dot override controller. And I have all my materials here. If, um, say, I release Poyomi Tune Shader 5.0, and because it's a big major upgrade, I had to change some stuff up, and now all of your materials are pink. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go into all of your folders one by one, like in here, I'm just gonna go and change each one one at a time to the new shader. That's gonna take hours if you have lots of, like if you have lots of avatars, that's gonna take hours and hours. It's gonna be terrible. So what I do, preface all of your materials or prefix all your materials with M underscore, and then at, then put their name in there. So this is my body texture, M underscore body, and then, or my body material, and then underscore PTO. PTO stands for Poyomi Tune Opaque because that's what shader it's using. So now, when I go in there and I break that shader and you download it, rather than getting mad at me because I broke the shader because I needed to update it, you can just go into your project, type in M underscore and an underscore PTO. And now you'll get every single material that's also using Poyomi Tune Opaque. And you can do the same thing for Poyomi Tune Transparent, Poyomi Tune Cutout, all that stuff. Just keep your naming the same throughout your whole project. And then whenever there's breaking stuff that gets released, you can very quickly search for everything using it and immediately fix it. Just be aware of that and how useful it can be. For the scenes, I'm just using SC underscore for scene. The skin meshes are SM underscore followed by their file type. So if I wanted to find all FBX files, for example, I could type SM underscore underscore FBX. And I would pull all those up, and if I wanted blend files, blend pops up. Easy peasy. And emission maps are T underscore whatever they're named, underscore E. And normal maps are underscore N. You can change that to NRM if you want to search for things more easily. Just keep your naming clean. If you want me to do a big write-up where I explain what you should name everything because you don't want to name it yourself or you want to keep consistent projects across the board with everyone else so that you can share files more easily. I can do that, but I'm not going to do it unless people actually request it. So feel free to join my Discord. There's a link in the description below. If you want more information on how to set up your project, just message me, ask me. I can make a big write-up and we can kind of come up with a naming convention together as a community so that we don't have to deal with everybody releasing these stupid named things that scramble your project. <laughs> All right. So if you follow these practices, you should be able to kind of make your project infinitely large and never have any issue because it doesn't matter how big your project is if you can just search for anything at any time. So name it whatever you want. Just be consistent. And if you want me to make a naming convention for everyone join the discord and let me know all right thanks for watching hope you learned something